Hello everyone, Ray Waldo here, the Bishop of Technology. Check out my website, raywaldo.com, for more information. I've freshly loaded CM7 uh, onto this uh, Nook tablet 8 gigabyte version. Now, that's the only thing I've done is just signed in on my network and signed in to my account, downloaded the, uh, well I did flash the G apps I set in a previous episode that I would not flash the G apps, but I found out that it's difficult to get the uh, the Play Store to work right without the G apps. So uh, I went ahead and installed, flashed the G apps and installed the Play Store. Now we're going to use the Play Store to download a, an application called Goo Manager. G-O-O -O space M-A-N-A-G-E-R Search for that, and there it is, Goo Manager. You see it on the screen, Goo Manager. We're going to go there, and we're going to install it. Accept and download, and it installs. Now, you've got to be rooted to use this. Okay, so we open it. It says it wants root privileges, okay? And the remember is already uh, clicked, so I hit Allow. And that's all we need to do. Now, it's running. Now, this application allows you to download application, uh, download ROMs, uh, keep your ROMs up to date, and do a lot of other things. It really takes the place of, uh, well it doesn't take the place of a recovery, but it is an interface to your recovery. So if you have an open recovery uh, application installed or uh, image installed, then this will use it to do a lot of the stuff automatically from your interface. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is install an open recovery application. So we tell it to flash ROMs, and it says, okay, well, in order to do this, you've got to have an open recovery. Uh, and so I say, okay, well, I don't have one, so try to find one for me. Okay, so it says, are you sure you want to do this? And I say, yeah, because what it's going to do, it's actually going to flash that ROM onto the memory of this device. Okay, and it found uh, Team Win Recovery 2.1.4 for the Acclaim. That's the Acclaim is the code name for the Nook tablet. And I say, yes. So now watch it close because it's going to download the file. So it takes a few seconds before it downloads. It's pretty small, so it doesn't take long to download. Okay, and it looks like it's finished, but it isn't. Well, watch down here. Okay, and it says, recovery has been installed. That's what we want to hear. Okay, so that's done. Now, I've already got, uh, I've already installed into here an SD card with the uh, the ROM that I want to flash and the G apps. Now you could download them from here. You can browse uh, anything that's on the uh, Goo, uh, man, uh, Goo IM website. Well, you can browse them there. But we want to do that because we already got it. So we want to uh, flash a ROM, do it again. And it says, okay, now I, this time I can tell it I already have one. And I think after that it'll recognize that. Okay, so we want to add a ROM. Now it looks uh, there's nothing up here, but if you had downloaded one with the Goo Manager, it would show up here because it downloads into its own private little area, and it knows where it is. Now, ours is on the SD card, so we, uh, from another location. Okay, and here we go. We found, now there's the Goo Manager uh, folder there. That's where it would be, but ours are out here on the, uh, the top, uh, on the root, and the SG7 uh, CM10 is the one we want, so we click on that, and we have it. Now we want to add another zip, and that is the Jelly Bean G apps. Now make sure you get Jelly Bean, not the uh, the the one with the GB in it is for gingerbread. So we want Jelly Bean. Okay, so now we've got the two there, and it says now order it and flash. Okay, so we've got the two. We press order and flash. Okay, so now we don't want the G apps to come up before the ROM, which is the order that it's in, so we just press up on the ROM, and the ROM comes up first now, and then the G apps, and that's the way we want to do it. Now, down at the bottom down here, we tell it we want to wipe uh, the Dalvik. We want to, uh, we don't need to cre create a backup because CM7 isn't anything we want. We just have a bare 
install anyway. But we would want to do a factory wipe. Absolutely, do a factory wipe. Now, if you already had something on here you wanted to keep, then by all means do the backup. Okay, so we tell it to flash. Are you sure you want to do this? And you say yes, and it reboots. And it should automatically go into Team Win. It doesn't always. You may have to manually force it into Team Win. Yep, okay. So we hold the power button down. It's going to CM7 again. Hold the power button down until it reboots or turns off. Uh, this is something that you can do with almost any device, any electronic device. If you just hold the power button down long enough, it'll turn off. Okay, turn it back on. Okay, now down here at the bottom, it's going to tell us to hold the nook, the end button for the menu. Okay, we'll hold it down. Okay, now if we push, the end button moves down to the next item, and we want the internal EMMC recovery. So there, and it says press the power button to select it, and that's what we want to do. Okay, so we we'll press the power button. Now watch this, it's going to work quick. Now it's already going to have this uh, uh, kind of a batch file already set up. So it's already starting to do it. It didn't load the TeamWin program interface. It went right to work in the things that I've told it to do. Now watch it close, make sure. Okay, we've, we've flashed the uh, Dalvik. It's already done all the wiping and the factory reset and the wide Dalvik and directory and here we install. Uh, I can't read them so quickly. Installing the zip file, okay, that was our ROM, and then uh, we verify, okay, install the uh, file here, it's installing, it's updating now, okay, so we're installing, then it's going to install those G apps, which is the Google applications, okay, there we go, and we're installing G apps now in the bottom line, okay, everything's looking good so far. It's mounting the system. Verifying done processing script file. Okay, we're rebooting. Now it's always going to come up in in uh, the uh, portrait mode. Now it may not always come up. Sometimes there's a, a problem. You may have to turn it on. So we'll just hold the button down and turn it on. Okay, there we go. Let go. When the end comes up. This is a weird thing about how it does the uh, initial, it does that every time on every one of the devices I've used. It just doesn't appear to be doing anything, but it will in just a moment. Just wait, just hold on, just hold on. You'll see the boot animation in just a moment. Now we had CM7 on here before, which looked a little bit different, had the little Android on it. Now we're going to see a circle and uh, with CM10 in it. There we go. Now, the first time I did that, I almost rebooted before it came around because it just seemed like it was too long. Hang in there. It's going to come around. Okay. Now, when it comes up, it's going to give us the welcome screen, allow us to do the setup and all that stuff, which you already know how to do that, or I hope you do. If you don't, just step through it. And... Uh, then you'll have CM10 again. Okay, now, review one more time what we've done. Uh, we have taken this thing from CM10, reset it down to standard stock Barnes & Noble 1.4.2. Then we allowed Barnes & Noble to upgrade it to 1.4.3 with an over-the-air update. And there's our welcome screen. And uh, so we can start. And, of course, uh, it's going to allow us to set up the uh, network, so I'll sign into my network here. Hold on, just you know, be back on screen just a moment. Okay, we're connecting to my network. Now this is an advance over CM7. CM7, you had to install, <laughs> it was really hard. It tried to do it as a phone, so it tried to use the uh, cellular network to connect and you can't do that. So this time we're actually connecting as a Wi-Fi first and then you can go ahead and sign on with your account. You already have one, yes, and you go through and set it up. Okay, so anyway, so what we've done, then we we first went back to C, uh, to stock 1.4.2 and from 1.42 we 
allowed it to upgrade to 1.43 and if you weren't watching in that video it just automatically rebooted itself went back uh, when it went to sleep I put that that 1.4.3 on the root of the nook from my nook on the copied with the USB and uh, then allowed it to go to sleep it came wake it woke itself up when it went to sleep and copied all the files and did all the upgrade and and did everything and then uh, rebooted itself came back up and showed a little green end down at the bottom then we took the clockwork mod uh, SD card and rooted it again same one we've used all along clockwork mod we rooted it and installed CM7 we from CM7 we installed the uh, we signed on went into the play manager just what we've just done now installed the goo uh, goo manager from the goo manager we installed we allowed it to flash the team win recovery project team win recovery project uh, then we were able to use it to flash cm10 and the gfs and here we are okay so uh, as soon as i sign in with my uh, user id and my g mail account everything will uh, install whatever it was already on here and uh, whatever isn't installed i'll have to add back uh, you could also have done a backup and some of those things. Okay, well, that's the way it works. And uh, see you next time. If you have any questions, please don't leave them on YouTube. I don't check here a lot. Uh, check my website, raywaldo.com, raywaldo.com, R-A-Y-W-A-L-D-O. See you next time. Bye.